Hello, it's Roger once again. I am addressing Sir David Attenborough and uh, Prince William about how we can create fusion. I'm going to do this very quickly. This is pulsed red laser. Boop, 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 boop. There's a particle in here which now we see accelerating. This is an acceleration of this wave. And the reason it's accelerating is there's two metal drums here forcing the light to compress into itself and turn into plasma. This is the key to what I think we can do and create fusion. That is the particle. It is escaping its wave because it is obviously accelerating. It creates enormous reverse EMF. I'm going to show all that. And then it creates coming out at us from Higgs fields, bosons, Higgs fields, all that stuff. And it also creates some very unusual effects. This is a reverse spinning particle coming through the Venturi. They all had this look, except one it had a reverse, and it gathered the particle field into itself, it looks to me. Then it looks like it concussed with one of these, creating that, which is... And again, this is light. This is not heavy particles. These are, are photons. And um, so these are, the, I don't know if that's smaller than a photon, I don't know. But I do know that this is what we see as the photons. They are, you know, positive, or negative, positive, negative, positive, back to back. Looks like bar magnets almost, like dipoles. And then the first one that concusses has these little spikes, and then the second one doesn't have them, and then they turn into just little flat things. Now, then this is where at the this is the particle itself, spinning to the right, drifting to the left, open here, compressed here, obviously slowing down. These are particles that are surrounding it. They're not moving. They just are getting illuminated because the field is slapping them as it spins. And it's just, we see it as a tube of light. Now, this is the heart of the fusion interaction. The particle is obviously accelerating. Light is obviously a glowing little sphere of, I'm going to call it, particle energy. But it's a, obviously it's a particle. There's some little bit in the center that controls a field around itself. The bit in the center is tiny, tiny, tiny. But the field is huge. You see it? The bit is tiny. Now, as we as it comes out, we can see it is pulling away from the wave, obviously accelerating. Then it does this. This is what we are going to examine closely because this, I have found, creates charge separation. Charge separation, you should be able to create fusion. Now, here's my plan. This would all be in a Venturi. Big Venturi. Uh, I'm sorry, a vacuum. This is the Venturi. You would tune it however, any way you want. You can have them come, and, come this way and slamming up into it, slamming down into it, feeding right together like they are now. Round structures coming in, jagged structures, anything you want. Wide open to do, but it's a Venturi, and all of the particles will end up crushing in there. Now, right now they're smoothly crushing in to two circular curved surfaces like this. So the light is coming around these curves. Now, we could have them jagged. We could have different materials on there, different... Because it, it's an interaction between this particle stream and this slot. They have to force themselves through there. If we create more interaction in there, like maybe add a little bit of heat or add some ripples or something, we might create even more interaction. Because what we're doing is scrambling up all the particles. And then they come out here, and let's look at them in, in where I think we can get them back to fuse together and pick up 20% of the, the power. Okay, this is the most important part of everything here. This is charge separation. That white is as white as white gets. And we saw they were white and dark and white and dark back to back. Here's the darks. And they're dots. They are absolutely dots. You see them? Dot, dot, dot. That is, that's the dots. Now, what does that mean? To me, I can see, and you can see, I'm sure you can see that, this is charge separation. Now, if this is white, and let's say that's 
positive or negative. It, it, choose your, your side, doesn't matter. The other, the dark, is, let's say, positive. So you have charge separation. Now, they're going to reestablish themselves, the dark to the white. That's what they want to be. They want to be attached. And that's what will happen with heavy particles coming through here, through a venturi, scrambling all their little bits and pieces, just exactly like we see. They separate into, they all go their own ways. And when they come back together, they should come back together. Instead of heavy hydrogens, they should come back to helium. And that is going to liberate one fifth of the energy that came through there, I believe. And it may even be more than that. Maybe less than that. But you should be able to get a net release of extra energy. Now, is it going to overcome the amount of energy it took to shoot these out? There's nothing to say. We have to do nothing here it's at all. Nothing. Zero. This is a Venturi. It's just a passive device. And it just crushes everything and that is makes them particulate and when they come back together I'm hoping we could get fusion if that's the case we are in really good shape now this is I, I maybe showed this maybe I didn't but this is my view of electron flooded core protons are made up of 1837 electrons neutrons are made up of 1838 they're just neutral because they have an even number. Protons is not neutral because it has an uneven number. Electrons are just a, sim, a sim, single particle exists in all these. Photons are two back to back. Hydrogen is basically one little bit out on the edge of a zillion particles in the center which is just like this. These are all the little electrons. Now they could float off by themselves and go off and sit over here outside that's, that's perfectly acceptable. They're in the orbitals. They can go flying pew, right off of there in light. Perfectly acceptable. Because that's ionization. That's pew, they go flying. Now, there's another thing to this. It's called electron migration. All right, so you like Einstein has a special relativity. Well, we got electron migration, and then we got ionization. Well, migration means that it doesn't go flying through the air. You can, it that visually doesn't go anywhere but it just wanders away. It, it, these are extra electrons. Anytime you have heat, anytime whatsoever from absolute zero up, it's because you have extra electrons that are forcing their way against somebody else. When you take every single one of them out of there and no electrons to push into anybody else, you are at absolute zero. And I don't think you can ever get there. But the, the point being is that cold is nothing more than pulling electrons out. Heat is nothing more than pushing electrons in. Electron migration is that every single thing there is. Some things are very, they insulate very well. They don't want electrons to move hardly at all. Some things conduct like crazy. Copper and you know metals, they, they, they have a lot of extra electrons floating within their matrix. It's just zip. They just go flying off. Not flying. They just migrate away. That's heat. We all know what happens. You, see, you can feel something gets warmer. You go like this. It gets warmer because you're forcing electrons to force into something. There's nothing but electron against electron here. Electron against electron. Electron against electron. Electron against electron. There is nothing that is not coded with electrons. All right? I'm going to leave it at that because I think we can do this. I think we can get fusion. And if we can do that, <laughs> we could fix a lot, a lot of stuff. Well, Sir David and uh, Prince William, you're over there in London and here's what they have to say at the Royal Institution. Violated. Well, what that means is that there's something wrong with the standard model. That's it. We found the crack, finally, in our understanding of particle physics. There's absolutely no way that we can explain this observation with our current understanding. Okay, I will leave it at that. And I believe that I have shown that light is a particle, light spins, light can be accelerated, uh, and light 
appears to even be able to be divided, that little tiny light trumpet, I don't know what it was. And then additionally, a light appears to be what everything is made of. And additionally, on top of that, light itself appears to be able to charge separate. And that is the key to fusion. All right, thank you.